This is one of the expected gate question from aptitude. Section is reasoning and the topic is calendar. Let us see how many gate aspirants can solve this question. By the way, this doubt was asked by Danish on English gate 2025 all in one doubt solving group. So the question is, if 17 September 1993 was a Friday, the which day of week was 30th June 1989. So basically you have to comment on 30 June 1989 is a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday or Saturday. Okay, so which day of the week is this date? So pause the video, try, then look at my solution. So let us see the solution now. There are two ways to solve this question. Method one is standard approach where this given data has no use. You can use the odd days concept to arrive at the answer explained in the class. And I know you know already that is a very lengthy approach to get the answer. Therefore, I avoid method one and I follow method two, which is tricks and techniques. And what is tricks and techniques? Already explained in class, the odd day tricks when the years are same, when the months are same or when the numbers are same. But sir, in this question, years are different. Month is different. Number is different. I agreed. So we can break this question and then we can use the trick and then go forward. Okay. So I hope you remember my trick explained in the class. Otherwise, you won't be able to get my solution. If you do not know, recommended the aptitude course, which is present in Shrenix and Study Simplified app. Okay. So visit the course, study the tricks and then come to the solution. Now, the very first step is 17 September 1993 is a Friday and we have to find 30 June 1989. So we have to go backward in the year from 1993 to 1989. Correct. So what I will do is I will make this question break into two parts. One part is using the trick and the other part is going with the standard approach. So focus on the first part using the trick. How you will use the trick since we have to enter into the 1989 year. So I need a 1989 year, but then I want to use my trick also. So what I will do is I will keep this format, which is keeping the number same, keeping the month same by doing this. What benefit you will get? The benefit I get is this format is as per my trick now. And as per the trick, check from 1993 to 1989, how many odd days are there. So subtract that odd days and you will get the respective day here. Okay. So tell me from 1993 to 1989, how many years are there? Manually, you can count 1994, 1995, right? No, we have to go from 1989. So 90, 91, 92 and 93, four years are there. Okay. So 90, 91, 92, 93, four years are there. Among these four years, who is the leap year? This is not divisible by four. This is not divisible by four. This is divisible by four. This is not divisible by four, right? So only one leap year. Therefore, if you need number of odd days, that is equal to one leap year and other three years are ordinary years. So odd days is one into leap year. We have two odd days and ordinary year. We have one odd day. So three plus not three. It is two plus three. That is five. So five odd days. So tell me if odd day is five, then minus five. You have to do what is the day coming? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We are at Friday. So go five backward. Friday is gone. Then Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. Who is left? Sunday. Okay. Going backward, right? So Sunday is left. This means this day is a Sunday. Now from 17 September 1989 to 30 June 1989. Again, we have to go backward and see what is the answer. So copy this. I think I should use the lazy to copy. Isn't it easy to get the answer? Yes or no. So copy this to the next slide. And now tell me what is the answer now going with the standard approach. What is the standard approach? Finding the number of odd days. Very easy. Isn't it? So from 30 June. Now there is no significance of the year. Just focus on 30 June to 17th September. Tell me how many days are coming. Sir, it's very easy. January, February, March, April, May, June. So June 30, the month is gone after that July. August, then September. So July, August completely it is coming. So 31, 31 days. And then we have this 17 September. So 17 days, right? So if I see carefully 
for the 31 days the number of odd year is 3 because 7 4s are 28 so 29 30 31 3 odd days comes remainder is the odd day after dividing with 7 right so here also 3 what about this 17 7 7 2s are 14 yes 3 is coming so yes this is also 3 so 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9 9 divisible by 7 remainder is what 7 1s are 7 so 2 is the odd day which is coming so since uh, this is also into a backward direction so minus odd days will come so minus uh, 2 again use the same concept monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday so backward subtraction sunday is gone saturday is gone who is left friday so friday is left therefore the given answer is a friday that is the final answer that is option c i hope you understood uh, this trick uh, how to split up and get the answer and yes that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the class uh, if you do not know uh, the concepts of aptitude the quants the reasonings the verbals in that case you can download the shrine exchange study simplified app already 70,000 plus families there you can visit the courses where you will get the recorded lectures class notes no need to make notes by yourself full notes are there in the app uh, doubt solving group is there like in this uh, danish has asked this doubt uh, group you you can also ask if the questions are tough as per you then test series is also there so that you can get the confidence on the concepts uh, and we have this courses all in one subscriptions where four courses in one maths all concepts maths all pyqs all branches all years with tricks and techniques aptitude all concepts aptitude all pyqs all branches all years with tricks and techniques courses are in english and hindi english uh, means everything would be in english like this video teaching speaking jokes everything would be in english whereas in hindi mein baat hindi mein karunga par slides in english mein rahegi if you need the individual courses that are also present um, if you want to study only concepts or only pyqs those individual courses are there for you that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the video